global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome to Global Happenings Today. We have a trending news here for you. And the headline of the news reads, Father Mbaka tells Emeka Hidioha, what I am doing here is unadulterated and extraordinary. See more details. But before we continue with details of the news and for the analysis, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you, you can get notification anytime we publish videos on YouTube. All right. Um, Reverend Father Mbaka, the cleric and the spiritual leader of Adoration Ministry, has said that um, Emeka Hedia should have come down to his church to seek God's intervention before losing out at the Supreme Court. Reverend Father Mbaka stated this during his homely on, on Sunday in what was a thanksgiving service. The, the Reverend Fathers used the opportunity to advise the present generation uh, to believe in prophecy and the mind of God, which he said was immemorial and will not cease to exist. It will always be in existence. According to Father Mbaka, and I quote, what's the distance between Imo state to Enugu state that after a giving such a memorable message on the 31st night, Emeka Hedio could not even come to adoration and seek for God's intervention. Rather, he went about and attacking and castigating the message and also the messenger. Tell me the person that attacked the genuine man of God and went scot free. He asked, What I'm doing here is extraordinary, he said. An unadulterated, Father Mbaka also said, it is not by power, neither by might. The way Peter B attacked me and the message I gave him, which later put him in this present political Gomera, was the way he also attacked me. I think that when a message like that is given, the right thing to do is to ask the prophet and the man of God what to do to avert it, he said. All right. All right, um, let's look at some of the response that Nigerians have given as a result of the statement he has just made. And one says here, you are beginning to make your place of worship a teen God center. So only, can, so only there can he find salvation or deliverance. One day the truth will be out and we shall see how the political class has been faring with some political men who sit at God's altar. And that one says, everybody knows what you are doing, that you are a thief in cloak. That was why you stupidly attacked Peter B, because you were trying to force money out of his pocket. You are a rook. You are purely all about money. And you talk about and this one says, I must admit that we are all entitled to our opinion and views. But let's watch our, watch our utterances against a man of God. I think we refrain from judgment and leave the man of God to contend with God. All right. I'm going to pick like other two or three and also read out. This one says, Mbaka is a spiritual thief. He wants he you are to break cola like hoop. <laughs> mm, strong, strong words there. This one says, Father Mbaka, let me tell you something. What profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? For he you are not coming to you to you begging after your prophecy is better. It shows he accepts the will of God. Shebi, you say, Shebi. You say the prophecy is from God. Then could Eodioha not seek God from his home? Why are you now saying he ought to have come to your adoration of a thing? I personally suspect you for this, your utterance. All power belongs to God. That's absolutely true, my brother. And uh, this one say, If Eodioha had visited Reverend Father Mbaka for prayer, would Father Mbaka have changed the will of God as prophesied by him? That's also important. We should leave everything to Almighty God. 
judges should remember that one day they will judge, be judged by God. A lot of questions there surrounding that. This one says, fake prophet, ye ye man, businessman, politician, gambler, fake prophecies. You are looking for money. Stop deceiving people. You use God's name in vain. Mm. And I want here says, time shall tell between Baka and his prophecies. You people shouldn't kill yourself for nothing. With time, we shall know if Mbaka's prophecy are from God. I think what this man is saying is absolutely true. And the last one I want to read says, If you can tell yourself the truth, you know that God didn't tell you anything. You got your info from Uzodima and you want to use it to extort money from Ihed Yoha. God must judge. A lot of, you know, statements, a lot of responses from Nigeria and from our uh, emo lights. And this is really serious. Yesterday, um, there was a lot of, you know, protest in emo states. But then let's not digress. Looking at what Father Mbaka has said, what's your, stake, what's your take on this? You know, looking at what he has said. Well, as a man of God, I am only a daughter of Zion. I don't know. Bible says, uh, test all spirit to know if they are true. Uh, well, he has prophesied. But I also know that um, as a prophet of God, if, he does, if, if that prophecy he didn't like, as a man of God, if he didn't like the prophecy, he can always go back to God and ask the Lord to avert it. I could still remember in the Bible days, days of Moses when God got angry with his people Bible said and God wanted to wipe them out and Moses said look Lord if you do so people will say you're unable to save your people that was why you killed them but for your name's sake and for your word's sake keep them at least and that changed the mind of God to a great extent because God was not like okay but for these stubborn people that have a reprobate mind, this particular generation, I will gradually wipe them. But the ones that I will take to my promised land are the people who are set to follow me. That's the power of, you know, a man of God acting, standing on behalf of okay. his people. All right. But uh, the question I want to ask, it bothers my mind a great deal. <clears throat> if you read the content of that his prophecy, or if you watch the video, you realize that, he was talking about hope, hope, that hope has come to Imo State. Hope, hope. Now, if God is bringing, because, you know, these things, we have to look at it from different side. If God said, for example, I have brought hope to my people in Imo State, that I hope Uzodima would change the story of the Imo lights, that hope would do this as he was prophesying and say, let us light the candle for hope and all of that. Now, and now he is now telling us that if the hopeless man, as a person who couldn't bring hope to Imo State, would have come to him, that he would have spoken to God to retain that hopeless man, the man who does not... I want to, that's why I said that sometimes when people talk, I don't know if they sit back to reason what which they are means, saying. Which means uh, by default. Okay. Which means by default. Uh, Imolites have been praying for hope. Hope. Uh -huh. you know, that hope to come. come. Not hope was the manner that yes. they wanted hope, hope. a change. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, now God has and brought hope who's the man to who will give them hope. hope. Uh -huh. Now if God has brought hope who's the man because of the prayer of oh. the people hope. based on the fact they're looking for hope. Exactly. Then why would God want to bring a uh, Head your hand, keeping head your hand. Again, who has been bringing hopelessness to the people of Imo State? Uh, uh, but so for uh, you, to, for you to tell me if Emeka Head your hand had come to adoration center, that he will find a way to avert it, that we would have would have avert. Is it you? Uh, is it you that we are talking about, or, or is it could, God we are talking about could, here? Could it be that it has, is a case of a bigger seed? To avert the eyes of God so that we uh, do No, I'm just assuming. Okay, so which means our God uh, is a God that have, look at seed, money. We have, we have our God does this. not call it money. We've always been hearing this now from preachers in Nigeria. Let's be real. Let's leave sentiment here. Where they will say, look, God does not accept any seed that does not cost you sacrifice. Mm. God only accepts sacrificial gift. If you want God to change your spirit, give him sacrificially. So, which means a, a man who has been 
according to him. Because if you say this one will bring hope, it therefore means the other one that what was on sea has been hopeless. Uh, has been so hopeless. He has been bringing the hopelessness, hopelessness to, to the people of Imola. So somehow you can now go back and talk to the man of God, and the man of God will tell God, "Oh God, allow this man who has been bringing hopelessness." To the people of Imo State to stay, and the one who was bringing home, uh, do not allow that one to. You know, you just add one on one with this whole thing, and I, I seem not to understand what these guys are saying, because the truth of the matter is, if God is telling you something, and uh, and say, um, I'm going to bring a change to my own people, or said, I am going to cause my people to laugh. I'm going to bring someone, somebody who is going to turn around the story of my own people. Let's look at the case of David, for example. God said, go to the house of Jesse. You will see yeah. a man after my own heart. Anoint him, for he shall become the king of Israel. So it, despite the fact, now get this right. Despite the fact that Samuel was crying every now and then concerning Saul, God told Samuel, I have rejected Saul and I have rejected him. There was Samuel nothing could Samuel could do yes. about it because God has already seen a man who was after his own heart and who was going to liberate Israel, who, were going, who was going to take Israel to where he wanted Israel to be. In fact, to make the matters worse, when Samuel, in a hurry, decided to sacrifice, said, we waited for you now, a man of God, uh, I mean, uh, Saul, you know, when it was supposed to be a sacrifice, he waited for Samuel to do the sacrifice. Samuel was nowhere to be found. And Saul decided to do the sacrifice himself. And that was what changed it. Samuel was like, why should you do such? Why should you sacrifice? Now you have finally seen your faith. But something similar also happened to David, where his men were so hungry. They went to the altar and took food that was meant for the prophets, sons of prophets. Instead of God castigating David for doing that, it's recorded as nothing against him. So that's to tell you the power of God's word. If he accepts a man, he accepts a man. If he rejects a man, he rejects a man. Exactly. There's really nothing you can do. If you are forcing yourself, he's only wasting his time exactly that's what we are saying if god says it's hope it is hobuzodima according to him because this same hobuzodima we've heard a lot of things about my ears are full if you go to the internet this one is just go to internet and see what some of the comments in my previous this thing uh, video that we posted some guys people make comment there was this man that talked about him i just wish i can play out the comment i show you the comment and had said a lot of things that he was staying in ivory coast this uh hobo zodima and that he was doing chasing <laughs> a lot of the guy wrote a lot of things i don't want to say those those things you know let it not be as if i am biased and all of that are trying to you know bring someone to the limelight so but what i'm trying to say in extent if truly this man is going to bring him how then would you have changed the mind of god but, if a maker you had, had come to see you would they wish they for man means that god can be manipulated is that what you're trying to say not the, funny the will of god stands at all time Let it does, I mean, I believe as much as we are saying what we are saying right now, I believe let's walk into the future. See, there's nothing that is hidden under the sun. One day, one day, if you say Hobus Anima is the right person, Imo that will end up to realize that truly he was the person. But if it is that's not, another thing I wanted to say. Time will tell. That if truly, because he said hope, if let's just say, for instance, he stays up to like one year, or if he surpasses that one year. And truly, he brings hope, and that's the mind of God. Yes, that's a because that was what God. you told and us. That's the mind of God. Wait, that's what you, you told, told us. Yes, that is hope. Told us yes, that he's going to bring, bring hope, hope to the Imolite. Imo now, so, if if for <laughs> any reason you know Imolite be, be, becomes worse than they were before, mm -hmm. then that can't be the mind of God. It, God exactly. cannot bring hope. Yes, and at the same, and at the end of the day, hopelessness is what we see in the last. Exactly. So, so to so to speak, let's give him time. Yes, he said. Uzodima has entered, and Uzodima entered, and and on the premises on the fact on the premises of the father, uh, hope is is coming to bring hope, hope, you know, to the people of Imo. Eh, time will play out. Yes. If Imo lights cry, we are not the ones saying it to. Yes, sir. It has been proven uh, yes. based on circumstances. Yes. Because prophecy plays itself out. Exactly. You don't pad it. Yes. Even if you pass the pronunci uh, pronunciation, you can't pad the events that yes, will follow. Exactly. All right, that's where we'll leave it. I know that uh, right now, based on a lot, a lot of things that are happening in Imo State, you know, I think that, uh, I don't know, I don't know if they, they still hope for a make a but we published something yesterday uh, from legal perspective 
what he's supposed to do, but that is dependent on on, on the judges of the Supreme Court because it's not that you can force them to change their verdict, but it's a case of you talking to them and they will review it and see the mathematical error and they will correct it. So we are hopeful that if Emeka Hedioha will now go and meet them and talk to them and say, write to them and say, this is the mathematical error. And I we, I believe that if this will be used as judicial precedent in the future, it will not all go well for judiciary in Nigeria. You know, a lot of people have already started suggesting that mathematics should be included as a key <laughs> subject in, in law, law so that they should learn to add one plus one and know uh, how to correct certain things. So we believe that if all of that happen, Possibly, there can be hope for a make a head of But if not, let's wait and see if truly the prophecy by, by Father Mbaka 